Hi everyone, my name is Siddharth and this work is on multi-user scalable 3D object detection in AR Cloud. So this algorithm builds on a shared world framework where data captured from multiple users are fed into a shared representation of the world and are processed by asynchronous object recognizers to recognize different objects. And this leads to a multi-user across time environment generation. So how do we solve it? Given a pair of color depth frame, we first detect objects of interest like chairs, table, sofa. A detection mask and then voxelize given the depth. Next, we load all the objects visible in the current frost term, which is then associated and fused with the current frame detection. So this process is run in parallel for each frame, and in the end, we get 3D object detection for each object instance. Another thing to note that we only store object voxels and not the background mesh. So why is it scalable? Considering the scenario where RGBD frames for multiple users are being fed into a shared representation of the world, and since our method can run on each node in parallel, therefore each frame can be processed in a parallel or independent node. Also, each node can asynchronously update an object instance without locking all the object instances in the map. For example, node one can update a chair instance, while node two can update a sofa instance and node four can update a table instance. The system is scalable in number of users and objects. So we test our algorithm on scanner dataset. Currently, dataset is collected by a single user moving around in the environment. In order to simulate multiple users, we broke the trajectory into multiple segments as shown on the right. Here, the results on a single scanner seen with one user, 10 user, and 50 users. Red shows the estimated bounding box, whereas blue shows the ground truth bounding box. Quantitatively, we measure the mean average precision at IEO of 0.25 across 40 scenes for increasing number of users, and we can see the MAP is similar across the number of users and variance across Monte Carlo runs are low. We also compare the memory requirement to store the object level map as compared to storing the dense mesh, and we can see the object level map requires order of magnitude less memory. We have also released this as an experimental feature with the latest OS update on Magic Leap 1. Thank you.